We've spoken about video nasties before, but today we're going to discuss some of the most infamous banned horror movies ever. These films are deemed controversial and today we're going to discuss their crimes. Please let me know out of this list how many have you seen and which ones and did you like them? Do you think that they're worth a watch? And since you've made it to this side of the internet, I know you're going to love today's sponsor, which is The Nasty. The Nasty is a coming of age horror comedy set in the 90s Scotland against the backdrop of, of course, video nasties and moral power. Panic, my favorite. It tells the story of Thumper Connell, a lonely horror loving teen whose best friend since childhood is an imaginary incarnation of his favorite slasher villain. I love this already. Together with a group of other misfits, Thumper manages to get his hands on the most notorious, wildly banned and probably cursed video nasty of all time. And the gang hopes that by screening this tape at the local horror festival, they can reverse the fortunes of the ailing video shop they frequent. But things go wrong when they accidentally ruin the tape. But given its notoriety and rarity, they realize that no one has actually seen this tape. So they can create their own version and pass it off as the real thing. The comic is written by John Lees and the art is by Adam Cahoon. And it's published by indie sci-fi fantasy and horror comic maker, Vault Comics. This comic will be available everywhere from the 5th of April and you'll want to check out the description down below for a quick link to where you can find it. Huge shout out to Vault Comics for sponsoring this video. Not only is The Nasty a very kick-ass comic, but they're supporting me, a horror creator, talking about disturbing film. What is better? I appreciate your support. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, I really encourage you checking it out and supporting them as well. Don't forget to check out the link down below and let's get into it. It's about to get dark. And we'll start at the top. What band horror list could be complete without possibly the most famous controversial horror film of all time, Cannibal Holocaust. This is a found footage exploitation Italian horror movie that follows a rescue mission into the Amazon rainforest where a university professor finds a film reel that contains the documentation of a missing film crew. The film crew had been following a cannibalistic tribe and their day-to-day -day life, which of course involves some very gory subject matter. Something that people don't often mention about this film is the horrendous sexual assault that's shown but most people do discuss the animal cruelty within this film which part of it is real and one of the actors allegedly cried after one of these scenes. The film achieved notoriety because of its graphic scenes after its premiere in Italy where it was seized and the director was arrested and had to prove how the violent scenes were faked. To do this he produced the actors that were allegedly killed off during these scenes. He also had to go through and explain the infamous bicycle prop, which is where an actor sat on a concealed invisible bicycle seat to give the illusion that they were impaled. He was cleared of all charges, but the film was banned in several countries, including Australia, New Zealand, Norway, and Italy because of its graphic content and animal death. The movie was briefly released in the US in 1985, but this release lasted less than a month before being pulled from cinemas. Since then, it has been unbanned in some countries, including Australia, with a very high graphic warning on the DVD. But in places like New Zealand, it remains banned. Personally, I've seen the film for video reasons, for my job reasons, three or four times, and it is not my cup of tea. I never look forward to when I rewatch this for a video or whatnot. Its shock value does nothing for me, and it feels exploitative in more ways than one. But unfortunately, because of its notoriety, the film remains a rite of passage for many horror fans and dark cinema fans. Many see the film as a social commentary on Western society, while others see it as straightforward shock value. Faces of Death, a film I never thought I'd speak about. Faces of Death. Death is a series of raw documentary scenes depicting gruesome ways of dying for both humans and animals. The film has a narrator who presents the audience with these scenes, some of them faked and some of them from real footage, pre-existing footage, including the Holocaust. It does present this as real, but it's a mix of mock you and doc you, which is so strange. People consider it 60% stock footage and 40% staged. And no questions to why this one was banned, but edgelords 
love it and it has a cult following. The film actually grossed over $35 million worldwide, which is insane. And this led to a series of sequels. The film itself boasts to be banned in 46 countries and often uses this for marketing, but people believe the actual number is lower. Although it did make the video nasty list in the UK, although what didn't? <laughs> especially at that time. Even more interesting, in 1985, the film was shown by a mathematic teacher in school and two students sued the school district and won. They claim they had suffered emotional distress from the film. Like many films on this list, it was initially banned and then bootleg versions of it started popping up all around. And in 2002, the film was finally legally distributed via box set in DVD form. The movie is also known for its inaccurate with incorrect details of some of the stock footage. In fact, this led to some protests because a victim was shown with the wrong details and no consent. It's pretty hard to cross the line for me, but this one definitely crosses it. And I do believe I sat down to watch this once and, and gave up. So I don't think it's for me. You gotta work pretty hard to be considered a Z movie. And that's just what Traces of Death from 1993 did. The shockumentary took a leaf from Faces of Death and created a similar structure, this time presenting itself as the real version with all footage and injuries being taken from public domain footage. And this film style contains not only deaths, but autopsies and medical procedures, which is shown from a coroner's point of view. It's basically a montage of everything dark and gruesome that can be found online. The movie was banned in the UK as the British Board of Film Classification claimed it doesn't have any journalistic, educational or other justifying context for the images shown. But of course, there's an underground market for this kind of content and somehow there are five movies in this series. That's four sequels. The film was banned in several countries, including Australia, and in 2003, a box set was found. It was the ninth anniversary box set and it was confiscated, I believe, going through customs through the airport by border protection trying to get into the country. Next graphic assault horror, I Spit on Your Grave, is known for its controversial depiction of assault. The film follows an aspiring author who is attacked and left for dead by four men. After this, she seeks bloody revenge. All considered, the most shocking part of this film is that the assault takes place for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of the duration of the whole runtime. At the time of release, many critics were shocked and appalled by the film, naming it one of the worst films ever made. It inspired protests and was banned in many countries, including Ireland, Canada, and Australia, with censored versions eventually being released. And very interesting fact here, the director claims that this film was inspired by true events that they were a part of. This director said he had an encounter with a young woman who had been assaulted and tried to help her. He claims that the film is not exploitative, but necessary to tell the story. Personally, I'm not too sure how much it was his story to tell, but with all of the bad press came an underground following and the film has gone on to have a remake and the remake also spawned three sequels. I knew it was coming. A Serbian film is banned in over 40 countries. And this time that is fact, over 40 countries. It's the first film to receive an R20 plus rating in Japan. The horror mystery thriller is, is the story of a male adult film star who agrees to participate in one last film that will have him set up for the rest of his life. But this art film turns out to be a snuff film with extreme scenes. Everyone here knows the infamous scene. I'm not gonna repeat it. I can't repeat repeated here. It's crossed many lines. The first festival showing of this film was actually part of the South by Southwest Film Festival and they warned the audience about the content, gave them the opportunity to leave, even said, last warning, anyone wants to leave, get out now. And then they fully lent into it by having audience members come up and do a line of salt and squeeze a lime in their eye before taking a tequila shot. The film found its way to distribution even though it effectively has been banned in many countries. Such a strange story, but in Australia, we have a huge retailer called JB Hi-Fi and they claimed they actually put out a statement saying that they would never distribute this film because of its content and then they also sold it online at the exact same time. This film has had a weird loophole where it's been able to 
almost get through all of these holes, even though it's allegedly banned. It was also outright banned in Brazil, but then it got onto the schedule for a film festival. However, days before, the film was seized by a court order. And because this film is often obtained by illegal means, online. Uh, it has been cut up and they have removed this DVD warning that was from the director who discusses that the movie is meant to be a political allegory. So context for the film has been removed completely. Okay, let's take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breather because that was some heavy stuff. And this might seem a world away, but the next film is one of the most infamous, most classic horror movies of all time. And it was also very controversial. It seems like a world away from the others on this list, but one of the most famous horror movies of all time was banned at one point. The Exorcist. Inspired by the alleged real exorcism of a 14 year old boy, The Exorcist is adapted from a book and it's the story of an actress's daughter who is possessed by a mysterious entity after playing with a Ouija board. After this, her mother seeks the help of two priests. The film's infamous possession scenes were and still are considered highly controversial. The actress receiving death threats from quote, glorifying Satan. The scenes depicted explicit language and sexual themes and there's so much fuel to this fire considering A, it's a 14 year old girl playing a 12 year old who's at the middle of all of these scenes and acting out these moments. B, it's wrapped in religious context and C, it's in the 70s. There's no wonder this gained so much controversy. The film went through a rigorous rating review where at first it was rated X in America, but then finally they settled on R. And many people were shocked by this decision. While other countries weren't as lucky with the UK outright banning the film for some time, it was also banned in Malaysia, Lebanon, and Singapore to name a few. But even after all the controversy, when adjusted for inflation, the film remains the highest grossing film for Warner Bros and one of the highest grossing R-rated films of all time. And of course, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre follows the gritty story of five people who trek across rural Texas and find a deserted house which leads them to a run-in with a family of cannibals. This film is raw and it's wild, but technically it's just inferred violence, which makes it so interesting that it's on this list. That alone was enough to get rejected by the British board of film classification in 1975. It was noted that the film was created, get this, for an atmosphere of madness, threat, and impending violence. You know, if you just have the vibe back then, you're out. So the band was more about the tone of the film, which is such a compliment, it could get under their skin by just inferring scares. The movie was even described later by the secretary of the BBFC as the pornography of terror. What a title. They should have put that on the poster. It was also banned in other countries, including Australia, whose classification board considered it excessively violent, which again is so funny with no gore included. But of course, as we know, the film eventually passed the boards and now is unbanned. I hope you found this video as interesting as me. Did you count how many films you have seen? I've seen five on this list and I don't care to see the others. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you again to The Nasty for sponsoring this video. And don't forget that link is down below if you want to support them. And if you'd like to subscribe for some more disturbing content, you know where the button is. I'll talk to you all very soon. Stay safe and stay safe. Spooky. Bye, friends.